Today we're talking about dopamine and stress. What happens when our neurotransmitters, the, the little chemicals in our brain that are kind of like hormones just for our brain, what happens when they're out of balance? One of the neurotransmitters in our brain is called dopamine, and this is part of our reward system. When we get excited, when we want something, when we actually care about something and we want to make something happen, that's because we've got plenty of dopamine running around in our brain. When we get stressed for a long period of time, we stop making neurotransmitters as well. And then our neurotransmitters get lower because we just don't have the building blocks up there. All of a sudden, we don't have enough interest to, to solve our problems. We don't have enough interest to try and make anything different. When we have low dopamine levels, that we don't have any motivation, and then anything that comes along and stresses us out, it's just overwhelming. It, we, just, we just sit there and like, oh, not that. Please, not that. I can't handle anything more. And if we've got appropriate levels of dopamine, we're like, oh, that's a problem. How am I going to solve that? Let's do the next thing. That didn't work. What do we do next? That's what dopamine does for us. What do we do when we're craving some dopamine? When we're apathetic and we don't know what to do, we frequently go to our cameras. We go to our computers. We go to our sugars. We go to anything that you can add a holic to. So this is where alcohol and gambling and internet addiction and Facebook and anything we can just zone out into, but we get to get a little bit of extra stimulation. That is a fake supporter of dopamine and it does for our brain and our neurotransmitters what sugar does for our energy levels it gives us a spike up but it doesn't give us any sustenance to it in the long run so when our dopamine levels are a bit low because we've been stressed for a really long time and it gets to that extreme now we need to look at other ways to support you to get the dopamine back up so there'll be nutritional support specific for that there'll be brain activities and exercises that will actually help stimulate you to make more dopamine. So this is one of the key steps in you getting better. Share this information with the people that need it and help us help other people.